what we do here will affect everything for eternity. When God sh showed me that eternity, when God showed me what is there, He's changed something. It's as if the value for any of the things on this earth was just taken away instantly. I am doing this because there is that eternal life and because I saw Jesus and when I saw him and when I met him and when I saw what he has done for me my heart overflows and I can't stop I can't stop doing this I was up at 5 in the morning preparing a broadcast I wanted to sleep but I can't stop because the message needs to get out People are going to be in hell if they don't decide for Jesus Christ. We need to get the message out. Government passes laws against conversion. Who is the government to decide where you will spend your eternity? I am not talking about getting someone dunked in the water and taking them out. I am talking about the conversion of our souls. From darkness into the marvelous light. This message needs to go out and it needs to go out in its power and its full love. Jesus is not going to come into somebody's life. He's going to beat him into it. Do you understand? If I go somewhere and bomb 10 people and say, you know, Jesus is Lord. They're going to love me for this? No. But what did our God do? He laid down his life. He died that we might live. If you can see that, we will not be able to sit still. We will do something. Why do you think I'm getting these messages out? Why do you think I'm doing that? Because the message, the gospel needs to be preached. My job is to preach it like this. Your job may be to even be a witness. We all have separate functions. God has created us separately and differently. Do you understand? You cannot do what I do. I cannot do what you do. It's not doesn't work like that. But we need to we need to tell people that unless they repent and turn around and understand that they are going to hell, that this is the only time that they have to accept the only way out. We need to at least let them know. Let them make their decision. Our job is to just let them know. This might sound radical. But this is the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. As according to the Bible. God of heaven and earth. Is a witness to this. The Holy Spirit is a witness to this. Jesus is alive. Acts chapter 5. We are his witnesses. And so is the Holy Spirit. Understand. When people ask me, do you do conversion? You know what I say? Absolutely not. Am I lying? I can't convert a single soul. Who am I to convert? I can get a, I can get a human being wet. And in danger of being washed out to sea also. <laughs> you know, but who does the conversion? Only God can. See, the, the disciples said, we are his witnesses. He said, Jesus is alive. We are his witnesses and so is the Holy Spirit. When you speak about Jesus, it is the Holy Spirit that converts. So if they want to throw somebody in jail, they can throw the Holy Spirit in jail. They can try. We are just speaking the message. Do you understand? I don't do any conversions. I don't know why I'm saying this. But the conversion is in your heart by God and God alone. Otherwise nothing will work. Which is why the gospel has to be preached in its fullness. Not like a sweet Jesus. Come to Jesus. He's the answer. That doesn't work. The rich young man came to Jesus. Jesus sent him away. Because there has to be a repentance in their heart. All of, you know, I've heard a couple of people say beggars can't be choosers. I'm sorry, we are not beggars. 
We are the children of the living God and we need to live like that. Jesus said, I do only what I see my father doing. We need to be like that. We need to do only what we see our Lord doing. Because those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God.